This is a little cut into today's video because I do wanna announce the giveaway winners. Um, long story short, uh, for those of you guys who purchased plates or anything like that in the last couple of weeks, enter to the Keys Motorsports giveaway automatically. We're just giving away some jumper packs. We have a, a GPS tracker and also a wallet, all from Keys Motorsports. So shout out to them for providing me with that stuff to give away to you guys. So I'm about to announce the winners for that right now. Um, also, if you guys see this little mini R8, I did accomplish my R8 dream by the end of this year. Shout out to Jonathan for helping me. Uh, he caught me this little car. Just to look at it remember that this is still the goal end of the day um, but in the meantime we have bigger goals to acquire so we're going to try to do this all in one take guys so i'm going to go ahead and take all your guys' names right over here this is everyone that's purchased merch license plates all that good stuff um since we actually started this giveaway i'm gonna go ahead and copy all those names put those names over here command v and we have 150 50 entries not too shabby not too shabby and there is four prizes so i think the odds are pretty good here so um we're gonna pick out what i should just pick out two winners right here this is for the jumper packs so both you guys names right here these are the winners for the jumper packs i just want to say congratulations up front i think those are 150 dollars value each so congratulations to both of you guys i will get that shipped out to both of you guys if i have the addresses um if not reach out to me on instagram i'll make sure to get it out to you guys um and then the next giveaway is let's go ahead and do the wallet uh, bada bing, bada bing. We have to keep the best for last, obviously, the GPS tracker. I think it's a $200 value. Uh, so I think you go down here, pick another name, and then start. All right. And congratulations, James, on winning the wallet. And then last but not least, guys, one more winner. And this is for the GPS tracker, $200 value. Bada bing and bada bang. Congratulations. I will get all this stuff shipped out to you guys ASAP. If you guys' names did pop up, make sure to hit me up on Instagram. Uh, without further ado, just go ahead and jump back into the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Struggle. Back to another video. And in today's video, we are back with the E91 M3. And we're doing something I don't really want to do, but it is a very, very, very necessary thing to do. That being said, the E91 M3 is almost ready to be street legal. It just has a stupid battery drain issue and a few other electrical things that are not working. So, first things first, like I mentioned, this thing has a drain issue not too sure what it is exactly but if I don't actually leave the car on a trickle charger overnight the car will stay locked it'll be completely a hundred percent drained so something inside the car is still taking power now this is kind of old news it could be it could be because of the sunroof mainly because for the first time ever I left it overnight and I disconnected the trickle charger at 6 p.m. yesterday woke up this morning got in the garage got in the car and not only did it have juice but it started up. So maybe, maybe, because that's the first time ever that we actually replaced this sunroof and maybe, maybe the other sunroof because it was damaged or because of the module issue or something, it was causing a severe battery drainage. Hoping it was the sunroof, but I'm not 100%. So yeah, we're gonna be trying to diagnose that again in the today's video, but do not worry. It's gonna be a lot more than just that. The keyless entry on the two front doors are not working. We did wire in the two doors, but for some reason the keyless entry is still not working. So that is something we're trying to sort in this video as well. This rear trunk bind is not working either and that's something I really 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 want to get working mainly because this is a wagon and I want this rear glass to open so it has the features of a wagon. It's gonna be so cool. We have a few other little issues recently when I've been starting at the car I've been getting a half check engine light not too sure what that is exactly and then also we're getting uh, the airbag light again and that's kind of weird because uh, we got the airbag stuff situated out of nowhere. I just get an airbag light so may oh you know what I just realized uh, I probably didn't connect the current airbags again so yeah. Wait a minute, but I never disconnected it to begin with. Yep, it's connected. It's connected, so it's not the current airbags. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. But anywho, you guys saw the progress we made in the last video, and I'm so, so, so happy. I'm so pleased that we got a functional sunroof. So, I mean, we're getting things knocked out little by little, and this is kind of like the tedious stuff when it comes to custom builds like this. If you guys reached out to anyone that's did an E91 M3 build like I have, um, they said that this car was in the works for almost a year. Like, each one of them had this project for almost a year. I think we're running it up at about almost five five to six months now of actually like hardcore working on this car. So we should be able to finish it sooner than them. Um, and that's because I'm doing this full time. At the same time, it does take a toll on your mental health when you're constantly trying to figure out issues every single day, it's emotionally draining. So all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the car, completely disconnect the power, and uh, we're gonna be ripping the dashboard out once again. The center console, the dashboard, I mean, I've been piecing this stuff together and it looks so, so, so good. And the fact that we have to take all this apart really sucks. But the reason being is that my boy, that 
actually does the coding on this car. You guys know Nick, the man, the myth, the legend. He's going to be coming over once again. He's actually taking a detour. He has a flight uh, to his family, and then basically on the way back, he decided he's going to swing by for a few days, and he's like, dude, I want to help you get this E91 100% in order. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to swing by, uh, just get the dashboard out in the center console out so we can test every single wire, make sure everything's working properly, try to get everything that I just mentioned earlier working properly. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that man, the myth, the legend to show up. So, I got to do my part and at least get this dashboard board out and center console out and hopefully not mess up anything because we got a lot of custom things we have brand new parts and i don't want to scratch anything so let's just get it all out so as you guys know also by the last video we got a bunch of interior black trim pieces black seats the whole black trunk lining so very exciting stuff here i have a bunch of the screws that go to that stuff so actually i'm going to go ahead and organize all this stuff and put it into this little thing here i actually got this from home depot and i think for two dollars this thing is pretty sick you can't buy this by itself for two dollars but it had pretty much all of these things together um for ten dollars and uh, i think this is like valid basically at a buck fifty two dollars because i mean i mean you get so much for this deal i love my organization it definitely makes doing a build like this a lot easier so we have the e91 right there labeled i use this little thing to uh little label maker to do that and then i also got the sunroof screws over here just some spare screws if we ever end up needing that and i do have all this so uh yeah we do have sections for everything that we need so i'm gonna go ahead and like i said put all those screws label it put it in this section right here that's gonna be for all of this and then when i start taking apart all the dashboard stuff i'm gonna put all the dashboard screws and everything in here so everything is gravy in the navy and i'm gonna put you guys in full time last mode because this is a very tedious process and uh yeah i mean who wants to see me pull out a dashboard for the five bazillion time you guys want to see the progress so let's get to that And guys, moments later, we finally have everything else disconnected out of the car. We have the dashboard and everything else sitting right over there. And if you guys look at the interior of this car, it's not looking too good. But um, I mean, it, it wasn't too bad taking it apart. I don't think it's gonna be too bad putting it back in. One of the reasons, again, why we took out the dashboard, so easy access to the door wire. We do need to figure out if the keyless entry to the doors is working properly. We have some extra wire, we'll get to that tomorrow. And then in terms of the fuse box, we're gonna be testing out everything. We're gonna pull this fuse box. And uh, yeah, we are gonna be testing all the wire to see where the drain is coming from. It's gonna be a lot easier with the dash removed. I did go ahead and plug in every single module uh, so everything is gonna be connected for power um, so we can actually figure out what that drain is. The MBT Evo, we're first gonna coat it outside the car on a bench. Uh, we'll show you guys that again tomorrow as well. We do it on a separate bench, make sure all the coating and everything's proper. And then once that's sorted, we'll throw that in as well. And then finally, we'll test the drain again when everything's fully connected. Uh, but yeah, we just had to make sure everything is connected because what's the point of testing everything if nothing's connected? We got all of our screws organized right over here super happy about that but yeah without further ado i'll catch you guys tomorrow when nick gets here well i'll come back to you guys actually when i pick him up from the airport so i'll see y'all tomorrow and guys this is the next day i'm actually here with my boy just picked him up from the airport the man to meet the legend you guys know the guy that knows everything to do with electrical and he's one phone call away <laughs> So he actually swung by to actually help us figure out all the issues with this hopefully i mean this is pretty much a continuation from the last time you're here right yeah, we kind of ran out of time, so I had a short hit stop here. Short, a couple days. So, guys, we're going to be trying to hopefully fix the drainage issue with this car. We're going to try to fix other little electrical issues with this car. Literally, the things that are preventing us from honestly getting this thing registered and driving properly and just, you know, making it an actual daily driver. So, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to go ahead and get sorted in today's video. I think the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is try to figure out the drain issue. We finally locked the doors. Um, we took out the dashboard, we connected everything. The battery is fully juiced up. So at this point, um, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and test that against the wiring, the fuses, everything, and figure out what exactly is draining our battery. So basically this device tests uh, how much amperage goes through the two pins. If you touch them together, it beeps, and there's zero amps, and then the car's asleep. So 
we put the door locks unlocked and then we let the car sit for about 30 minutes make sure fool goes to sleep a telltale sign is you take your start button and then once that little amber light goes out the car is asleep and then we're going to go for every single fuse and we're going to see uh which circuit has a drain on it so you know if it's 0 0.01 that's not going to cause your battery to drain but if it's like a half an amp or a full amp or, or a huge drain that's that's your draw and we're hoping we're gonna find it in the fuse box over here because otherwise i don't really know what else it could possibly be but uh yeah we're just gonna go ahead and run through all the fuses and then see like you said uh which one we need to actually get sorted Zero three one, huh? Point three one. Zero point three one on this, this boy. What's the rest of them? Just point zero zero. Z just zero. Try the one next to it again. Point zero. See, one. that's zero point one. That that's that's nothing. That's okay. Okay. What was the other one? Go back on it. So, are you filming? Yeah, yeah. So right now we we found something. Oh, wait. So all the all the ones oh, wait, guys. The are tool is. Redone. Okay. So show them the one before. Like it. So, every fuse, guys, is popping up as 0 0.01. So right now, like most fuses, they're off right now because they're asleep and it's zero. And then, you know, we have this one right here, which is like zero one. And that's nor That's fine. And then we have this five amp fuse right here. I can get the prongs on. That's zero three three. So that's a third of an amp. That's That would cause a draw. Okay, but we're well, gonna go for those. That's progress, guys. <laughs> we got we figured out one of them at least. We'll figure out what that actually goes to in a little bit. But in the meantime, like you said, let's go ahead and see if there's anything else on there. Alright guys, we just found another one. It's 0 0.37, which is honestly kind of crazy as well. Rest of them, again, 0 0.00. Uh, we're just gonna honestly try to find every single one and we'll get back to you on a minute. Alright guys, so I just did the not so fun part and we just went ahead and dropped the fuse box. So we did end up finding the two fuses in the car, which basically means that two accessories in this car is draining power from this car when it's turned off. And that kind of explains the reason why a brand new battery is dying overnight, which is kind of crazy. So I told you guys, I have a list of things right over here. We're gonna try to figure out this battery drain issue so far we found two fuses that's drawing a lot of power which is a good thing which is a good thing which is we found something the keyless entry issue the trunk latch issue and the navigation setting on the mbt evo so if we can figure out all this in today's video it'd be kind of insane but so far it's so good we got the fuse box out let's figure out what's going on and what exactly is drawing the power from those wires from those fuses so as we were looking to figure out what those wires go to one of the wires actually go to the trunk area and one of the issues actually we just found in the trunk area is that if you guys can see that ribbon is snapped, but it looks like a ribbon, but I think it's just the ground because it doesn't connect anything. Um, it literally just has one bolt holding the top, one bolt holding the bottom, so it could just be a ground. It's ripped on both sides. That's maybe the reason why uh, this rear glass section is not working, and I don't know if that's also connected to that black wire. We'll figure that out in a little bit. We'll get back to you guys in a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make a ground wire using these things just to see if that's our issue. If that fixes that, it's gonna be literally killing two birds with one stone, and I'll order those ribbons, no problem. On our other trunk, glass as well it's broken i'm assuming the way we're ripping it is because of the way we're moving this so we might be removing this the wrong way so um or 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 it just could be fragile so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just put these new grounds and i'll let you guys know uh you know if that fixed it or not all right guys so now that i made these ground straps let's just go ahead and put it on both sides and then let's see if anything actually happens so guys as we were trying to figure out the drain issue and trying to figure out the whole ribbon situation nick decided to just put in a few more wires and check this out guys at least the driver's side knocked out finger on the keyless entry I'm about to say it's already, it's, locked. it's already locked, it's already locked. Put my hand in here. <laughs> we got keyless entry, boys. Oh my god, bro. Good stuff. So that's the driver's side. I think the only issue is that we forgot to put in a power wire, right? We forgot to run power to the handle. So that was our issue with that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and knock out the other side real quick and I'm gonna continue working on the back. So if you guys check it out right over here, um, this screw is like super messed up. Um, we got the screw out here. Uh, so long story short, once I actually get both screws out, I'll be able to actually put in my ground straps and then test out this whole rear end situation. But in the meantime, uh, more work to do. All right guys, so while 
Nick's actually working on the passenger door in terms of the keyless entry. I finally finished at least rigging up a temporary uh, ground on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and connect everything and see if that's actually the issue for this latch. If it is, um, I'm definitely gonna be ordering the official uh, ribbons from BMW. We're just kind of just testing to see if that's the reason this isn't working or there's something else that's causing this thing not to work. And like I said, guys, we're testing out random things. Nick is so happy right now, bro. Click the button, dude. Bro. <laughs> We have a functional wagon. It is really ugly. We are gonna put we are gonna be putting all the plastic pieces back on here. But oh my god, guys, we just haven't gotten it open. Like honestly, like since we you last time you got here, we had to pretty much recode it. Long story short, we just pinned it in the wrong connector, right? Yeah, it's wrong connector. Guys, uh, when I say we, I mean Nick. The last time you came here, bro, we were working like thirty hours straight. So like. Yeah, I mean, the connector situation, uh, not a big deal, but thank the Lord, at least that is situated. That was a big thing. I really wanted to get working on this wagon. And this thing still works, right? Yep. Oh, bro, everything works. That is amazing. Uh, and then we also disconnected the two fuses that were draining uh, the car. So honestly, I'm gonna leave those two fuses disconnected in the meantime um, and see by tomorrow morning if, we're at, if we pretty much lost all of our batteries. So I guess we'll find that out tomorrow morning. I'm probably gonna test out how much voltage is in the battery right now and we'll check back then. Uh, but yeah, honestly, for today, we knocked out quite a bit of things. It is getting a little bit late. So I'll cut back to you guys tomorrow, but there's a lot of tedious stuff. I know this video is all over the place just because, again, when you're working with wiring and you're trying to figure out what is going on, um, you're just your mind's all over the place. You're just trying to figure out things and what doesn't work and what does work, and you're always hitting you know roadblocks. But long story short, we'll cut back to this tomorrow, and we'll keep you guys posted on some other things we end up fixing, which I'm super excited about because, again, this is a car for the books, guys. This is a car I'm going to be enjoying every single day, and I want everything to work. I'm just so happy my keyless you working that is so sick anyways guys i'll see y'all tomorrow morning so peace out good morning guys this is the next morning again here with my boy nick uh we're gonna go ahead and check if the battery voltage is still at 12.5 or at least around 12.5 i understand if it went down a little bit you know even to 12 is perfectly fine just severely under that in one night would be absolutely ridiculous i'm hoping we, we i'm hoping we resolved our drain issue but moment of truth guys did we actually fix it that's that is that is the moment right here Point zero zero point zero zero, and what? Oh, it's more. It's more. <laughs> I think because when I tested it last night, uh, the car was still on. Oh the well, twelve point seven. I mean, that means that we're not losing full, anything. Twelve point eight to full battery. Bro. <laughs> So you guys can already see that we're already using this glass. It's so much easier to use a wagon, guys. We can pretty much press this button, access everything in the trunk, test our battery, disconnect the battery, do all that good stuff. So yeah, we got that working. Um, the battery drain issue is officially solved. Uh, we got the keyless entry officially working on all four doors and the inside of the car. So this retrofit is officially 100% complete. We only have a few more little things I wanna knock out. And then honestly, Nick is even saying, uh, we should probably add all this black stuff to the interior as well. I probably don't wanna hold this off for another video because I know a lot of you guys wanna see some major progress getting done all this little stuff is just a lot of the technical stuff a lot of the tedious stuff so um yeah a lot of good stuff getting done i'm honestly way happier about all this electrical stuff working but i know a lot of you guys are gonna admire the fact when that trunk is fully put together so um actually we have the rear seats as well so I think we can do everything. So without further ado, welcome back to you guys once we actually figure out the MBT thing and a, and a couple other electrical things. And uh, I'll just give you guys updates throughout today. And then uh, we'll do a time lapse when we actually install all this good stuff. Another small update, guys, for the wagon because uh, basically the E90 chassis don't actually have all these lights, at least not wired this way. This light was always working when you open and close the trunk, but this one wasn't. We finally got this one working right over here. And then uh, this one right over here as well, right down there. So all these lights are actually working, which is absolutely perfect. So now when you actually open up the glass, when you actually open up the trunk um, we can actually use all the functions of a wagon and everything is looking super good so if you guys look in there open it lights turn on close it lights turn off that's awesome another update guys before we actually get into the mbt evo we're actually going to start assembling the dashboard and everything else so yeah let's just go ahead and get this dash inside and probably honestly start assembling honestly most of the interior i'm very excited for this mainly because uh every single piece of this car is being put together and honestly usable and i'm just so 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 excited because this wagon is really coming together <laughs>
right guys so for the first time ever this dashboard is fully complete the navigation is still out because we're still gonna be doing the coding on that but this is looking so 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 good we also have the tray because i'm actually fully assembling the passenger side as well and then nick over here on um, part of the navigation is actually getting the antenna cable routed um so if you guys see over here uh we do need to do some splicing but we might just replace the whole cable or we might do some splicing we'll figure that out in a little bit and get back to you guys on that um in terms of the trunk and everything like i said earlier guys everything is pretty much sorted we're just gonna route this last cable and then we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the whole trunk i cannot wait guys to see this entire trunk not only replaced and done but also in black i've never seen this trunk in black it looks so 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 good but yeah guys so the final thing i gotta go ahead and do is just get that in and then i'll probably just do a little bit of reassembling on the trunk section as well but looking good And at this point, guys, the MBT Evo is on the bench, this custom bench that Nick has. And uh, he's just doing some Cody adjustments to the MBT Evo to make it work absolutely flawlessly. In the meantime, while he does that, because uh, he's better with that kind of stuff, I'm better at assembling things. So we have the full black interior, like I said earlier. Without further ado, let's just go ahead, pop the trunk, and start completing this entire section right in here. Cigarette lighter is in now. Can you, uh, in the second drawer, there's a there's an actual like cigarette lighter in there. This light up. Yeah, it'll light up. Yep, it works. Good. Yeah. I'm ready to go to school now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we finally got all this stuff assembled. I mean, obviously we need this piece in black. We're still missing another piece over here. Still missing some of the headliner pieces. I just haven't put that in yet because I don't know if we're gonna be painting it or wrapping it soon. Uh, we'll get to that topic in a little bit, but we got the rear sun cheek piece installed right over here. It is in gray. I, do, I am on the lookout for a black one, but in the meantime, the gray one will do. We got the black seats all up in here. Definitely better than the gray interior that I had. Um, so, I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> we have a half gray, half black interior, but the interior is really coming together. It is definitely functional. That's the main thing right over here. Um, definitely needs a good detail as well. But yeah, guys, I want you guys to let me know down below is the idea of basically like picking a different color wrap an idea at all or should we just go straight to paint like that is honestly where i'm at right now i'm honestly considering because i know we're going to paint it orange but i kind of took all the hype away from it letting you guys know that we're going to paint it orange from the start i mean obviously it's gonna look insane in orange i think it's gonna look beautiful and that's why i'm super hyped for that but at the same time obviously obviously money wise it's gonna be like five to ten grand a minimum um so that's a lot of money for a paint job but it will look so proper but what i was thinking is i don't want to wrap over a fresh new paint job if do you guys want to see it in another color maybe a purple maybe a blue maybe a yellow should we wrap it something in the meantime enjoy it drive it around see if there's gonna be any issues with the car because we haven't even really driven the car to see if there's any issues with it um before actually like you know getting the whole car painted and then if it has issues it has to go through some shops and maybe they 
change damage of the paint. That's just kind of what's going through my head, but there's also a good chance that everything's solid with this car. And once we actually get the paint job, it's just gonna be such a perfect car. So it's really like up to you guys. And also of course it's up to me as well, but I'm really curious what you guys think. Should we try to wrap it another color? Um, or should we literally just as soon as we get everything dialed in, uh, the quarter panels, the bumper, the exhaust put in, uh, we get the things uh, past, you know, state referee, get the smog stickers, and then literally just go straight to paint. Like, let me know if you guys think that should be the first thing or should we wrap it? Like, again, let me know down below. Up to you guys. Obviously, since I'm not actually going straight to the RA Dream this year, I do have the funds to technically paint this. It is a lot of money though. It's kind of crazy, but it's going to be worth the end of the day. So again, let me know down below. But without further ado, guys, that is going to have to conclude today's video. I'm going to wrap this video up. I do have you guys' uh, prizes right over here. I'm going to go ahead and put your names on it, mail it out, all that good stuff. So shout out to you guys that won it. Shout out to everyone that purchased a plate to, uh, you know, contribute to the channel, contribute to the build and all that good stuff. Everyone that also purchased merch is going to be featured on the E91 M3 plaque, which is very, very, very exciting stuff. So you guys' names are going to be featured on this car forever. But without further ado, that's going to have to conclude this video. So I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.